not a political artist in an overt way. I don't make statements. Uh, and it's not in your face, but I see myself and I see all painting as, as essentially political in the sense that that politics is a responsibility uh, to deal with history. And the history of how do you make your experience relevant? And how do you communicate that experience to other beings, other people, younger people? I've always been really fascinated with, uh, in a sense, I call them the trophies of, of production. The, in a way, it's almost like I'm interested in what it all boils down to. I was interested in that in, when I was 22. I've kept journals. You see things repeated over and over. Uh, I've read obituaries since I'm 19 years old, every day. And I do it without a sense of morbidity. I really do it because to me, it's almost like living your life in reverse. You have to look at the end and think about the life you would have wanted to live and then do it. And that sense of mortality was, uh, I don't know exactly why. Uh, maybe it was just the pessimism of growing up in a post-depression Jewish family where you hear stories of everything from starving to poverty to holocaust who knows but i have i've always done it i always look and i always see lives that's what the obituary is the life boiled down and you know you can't help judging you know a life boiled down to service a life boiled down to being in the community a life boiled down to contribution or is it a life boiled down to the golf club? I mean, obviously, I always knew which, which side of that I wanted to be on. And I was always very aware, and my work always, even before AIDS, I thought, uh, it's almost like, I think it was um, William Beckett said, you know, I can't go on, I must go on, I'll go on. And I always felt that. I can't, I must, I will. You know, it's almost like I read the paper, I look around, you know the situation. And you have to get up in the morning and you have to say to yourself, nevertheless, these are the things that I'm going to do. And this is what I want to bring into the world. Maybe slowly, maybe it takes time. And over a period of time, hopefully, there's that sense of optimism and that sense of, of responsibility and that sense of joyfulness. Uh, even if, even if it comes through a kind of sense of commemoration and a melancholia, which I think are the two poles of everybody's work, every, everybody's work.